All right, I got the elusive Tron matchup win. I lost game one, but let's see. Um, hey, I end up getting the high roll. Okay. Um, I keep because I have a, a lantern, which is good according to the spreadsheet. Strings can get me a rock or a um, it's called bridge, and uh, which being orb can be randomly good against some things. But mainly it's because I have three mana sources, not including a wool and a lantern. Um, I don't remember if my opponent kept. Yeah, they kept. Which is kind of good, because they uh, they do they are going to probably get drawn with this hand. You know, and uh, they got three cantrips, so. Yep, play out the lantern, and I see shred or the storing's on top. I'm like, well, crap. So it's either another lantern deck, or if I'm really lucky, it's uh, Bant Eldrazi, which nobody plays anymore apparently. Or it's you know, lantern. Or I don't know if I remember if I said that already. Whatever. <clears throat> and I see that. I'm like, crap! It is Tron, Green X Tron, and uh, that means they are going to have Tron too. I'd have to sh uh, sack my lantern to stop them from drawing that, and that still doesn't pull them off Tron. But I know the rest. Well, I'm here. So I see the rest of their hand. I'm like, okay, well, maybe I can keep them off of threats. So what I do is uh, grab the stirrings, let them have the rest. Now I. Uh, I don't play the stirrings because I want to draw this invention, the War of Invention. Yeah. And uh, still, that way I can were in response. <clears throat> it might have been good to just were and force them to shuffle with the map. And then that would, if they don't sack the map, then I can get a needle and name map. If they do sack the map, I can get a you know needle in some or no rock or something. But I'll go ahead and just let them sack the map. <laughs> yeah, so they decided to go ahead and super shuffle. And they did have a dead card on top, but they I guess they didn't like it. So they were like, oh, I'm gonna shuffle three times real quick. Okay, I guess. And they get a Karn. Fine. So they got Tron, got Karn. So in response to Karn, I go ahead and wear and go grab a needle for Karn. So uh, stirrings, grab a mill rock, try to cut him off that oblivion stone. And I'm like, okay, now I gotta fight three cantrip effects to try to get it out. So I'm doing okay so far. But with all these cantrip effects, it's not very good. Yeah, I know there's nothing in hand to thought seize, so I don't sack the shredder for that. And they do have a relic. Yeah. So they have four cantrip effects. So bad for me. I was thinking about sacking the shredder, and now I was like, oh, I'm dumb. And then they have a relic. I don't want to do that. So instead, I mill myself. I'm going to go ahead and play a needle. Get ready to name relic or whatever. Uh, I figure they're going to draw. There's an Ulamog on top, and I cannot stop them from drawing it. So at this point, it's pretty much game. But I'm trying to think um, of how I'm going to whittle my way out of this thing, you know? Um, <clears throat> Like, just trying to look for something. Like, maybe if they, if I can get them to pop their relic, then I can, in response, sack Shredder and get Thoughtseize back. But, of course, they're playing well, so they don't do that. Yep. And uh, so I, I don't have that luxury because they sack that instead of the relic. So that means <clears throat> I am forced to just... I hope I get some sort of discard spell, really. Now, what I don't realize is this is still on my turn. Mm. 
Yeah. So that, that's it at this point. That's it. Um, they're going to get uh, uh, this dude. Now, I guess in hindsight, no, it's still not right. Yeah, because they just untap and they play it and they, yeah. And it's at this point I was like, oh yeah, I'm, uh, <laughs> yeah, I named Karn and I'm like, well, they just untap and they play Ulamog and I st still lose. Yeah. So we go to game two. Now game two, I've started doing, I know a lot of people play Tesseret, and I started doing uh, Jester's Cap in the sideboard specifically for the Tron matchup, the GX Tron matchup. And, um, also, it helps with Storm and Ad Nauseam, but mostly for the Green X Tron matchup. So, they have a. I think this is a decent hand. They got Chalice and uh, Ulamog, and I have Natural Lock. So I'm like, well, I guess I'll keep this. You gotta play out the lantern and see it. It's a speed cantrip. Yep, draw an extra card. And fortunately, there is a Thought Seize in there. I cited it in another two Thought Seize, so I have four in the deck at this point. <clears throat> Go to Thought Seize and see what I can do. <coughs> now I'm looking. <clears throat> And I see that they have Chalice, um, two cantrips, one that is a mana ability, so I can't do squat about it. Ulamog, which they're a long way off from casting. And Oblivion Stone, which is the biggest threat aside from Chalice. Now, I, I realize that I can play a land, and I'll have a one lock rock, or a one rock lock right now. So if I can just keep them off of drawing lands, or force them to try to draw lands this whole time, then maybe I'll be okay. In addition, I still have my, uh, I believe, three uh, Inquisitions in the deck as well. So I still have plenty of other discard. So I figure I'll grab the Oblivion Stone, cut them off of mana so they don't play Ulamog anytime soon, hopefully get another Thought Seize in the meantime, because I'm running four of those, and uh, just try to either fight the these. well, I mean, I can't really do anything about Sphere, or... Um, you know, if they play Chalice, then I'm I'm not bad at all. And then all I have to do is fight one uh, instant speed cantrip. So that whole time, I'm, this is what I'm thinking about. So I grab the Oblivion Stone. <clears throat> yeah. I'm here, I'm thinking about, you know, what are the chances they're going to have another land on top? So I go ahead and mill it. And not only do I mill a land, I mill myself into a Thought Seize. Unfortunately, they did draw another sphere. So here they're given two choices. They can play out their spheres, at which point I'll untap and I'll play Thought Seize and I'll grab the Ulamog out of their hand. Or uh, they can play Chalice of the Void and then I can't grab the Ulamog, but I try to cut them off of lands. And they go for the Chalice route. I'm like, okay, that's fine with me. So it's probably, it could be argued that this was a misplay because it does also cut off their instant speed, other instant speed cantrips, but it does make it so that it protects their Ulamog and they're kind of hoping that they can draw into more. Of course, I'm stuck with this single rock lock. I'm not playing anything else in the meantime. So again, I mill, try to keep them off of lands. On top of that, I find an ancient grudge and mill them into another single um, uh, casting cost, which they could play, but it doesn't matter. Now, um, I need the red mana, <laughs> so there's Glimmer Void on top. And there's another Ulamog, I mean, I'm not doing anything about it. So now, Instead of killing the Chalice, what I want to do is kill this, because now I can probably keep them off of lands for the rest of the game. 
or at least that's my best chance. There's no way I'm fighting three chromatic spheres. They're basically going to draw anything they want for the rest of the game if those resolve. So. Yep. So I'm just going to do that. Uh, yeah, I go ahead and sack the fair because now uh, I have a single rock lock, but it's not going to be enough. And I, I, I could search for something that costs one, but that's not going to do me any good either. So what I need to do is find something that costs more than one. That's an artifact that will allow me to try to hold the lock. And it just so happens that I sight an adjuster's cap against Tron. So... <clears throat> Play the cap, let them draw stuff, and they're like, nope. They're, they don't even want to play it out because chances are I'm going to be able to keep them off with that cap now. Even if they do get to, uh, I'm going to let them draw that um, Oblivion Stone, but they're not going to be able to pop it for five. So post board, they kind of, it looks like, I didn't realize this, they were going to try to go in a little bit more aggro against me. <clears throat> um, I do keep, this is the Ancient Grudge, if I'm not mistaken. I think I did. I don't remember. We'll find out. Yeah. You play out a whole bunch of stuff. I have a thought seize. Super good. Um, they had no turn one play, so that gave me a ton of information that, you know. Yeah. Oh, crap. So I, I go to draw the extra card, hoping for maybe two discard spells, but that does not happen. But it's okay. Thought sees, and this is where, where I'm like, holy crap, I've got a decent chance now. I uh, gotta get rid of Crucible, though. Crucible will just end me. But if I get rid of Crucible, the rest of their hand is pretty crap. Uh, Slaughter Games, they gotta save up uh, the Mana Rocks to play it. and with, By then, I'll be able to play everything I need. Uh, even though it is a really good card if they can play it. Uh, Thrag Tusk is a... I'm, I'm going to land a bridge long before that thing kills me. Uh, so the uh, aside from Chalice... Or sorry, Crucible, the biggest threat i got to worry about is that Thought Not Seer. I'm like, fine, whatever. So I grab the Crucible. <clears throat> yeah. So I'm thinking here, this is basically, I mean, I hate to use a Lantern to force him to shuffle that away, but this is basically a Demonic Tutor, Instant Speed Demonic Tutor. So I am forced to make them shuffle that away. May end up getting another cantrip. So <clears throat> I go ahead and play the, the cap next. I know they're still stuck on three mana. Yeah, they go to draw their land before I can do anything about it. I guess they were trying to get me to uh, sack my lantern. So now I can thought seize. Um, I believe, well, because the rest of these I'm not worried about. Uh, I can stop these with bridge. I can stop this uh, by not, you know, and they can't play it anytime soon. So really it's Karn, and they're probably going to be able to build up to the Karn mana. So I'm thinking, uh, if I grab Karn and then just play Bridge, they'll play Thought Knot, get rid of my Ancient Grudge, which sucks, but whatever. <clears throat> and then if I need to, I can also use Jester's Cap as a shuffle effect to keep them off of stuff. Uh, fortunately, Mistress Bobble will again help me dig deeper into more of my hate cards. Yay! So now I do end up drawing a hate card. I draw a needle. So I kind of force them to... Now, what's really cool here about Jester's Cap is I got Academy Ruins on top now. The likelihood of that happening isn't great, but it is going to be very, very good for me. Yep. They go ahead and sack that to draw the extra land, I guess because they're trying to get that extra mana for slaughter games, but I'm like, yeah, fine. 
So I'm thinking about what to name here. <clears throat> and I'm thinking about it because between this and this, I could probably start neutralizing a lot of their threats. Uh, the one card is gone, this will do the rest. I can use this to immediately uh, keep them off of, well, one, for the shuffle effect, and two, uh, get rid of their uh, Ulamogs, uh, two Ulamogs, and then something else, which I'll be able to see when I see their deck. Of course, I don't want to play it into a situation where they can slaughter games it while it's not in, in play. So I do name Karn. Unfortunately, they could still do Sanctum of Ugin, but if I get rid of the Ulamogs, that'll make it so that you know, I'm not searching for Ulamogs, which is the biggest threat against me right now. So, I, and I don't want to use Cap yet. I want to use it as a shuffle effect, as necessary. So now I use Cap at the end of their turn after they've drawn the crap. Um, I didn't even see the Emrakul there, honestly. Uh, but Emrakul doesn't matter. <clears throat> they can take extra turns. But I can... Hey, I can get rid of both the Ulamogs, which are the big threat, and if I get rid of an Oblivion Stone and then untap, get it again, get two Oblivion Stones, and what else would be the problem? I guess a Relic. And then after that, one more activation, two Relics, and Emrakul, and that's probably game. Unless I have to keep them off of Chalice, but whatever. That shouldn't be too, too hard. So yeah, at that point, it's uh, about to be over. Yeah. So, oh man, Jester's Cap really coming through there. And it did help that my opponent chose to play the uh, Chalice over the Mill Rot, or the, uh, the Instant Speed Cantrips, or Mana Speed Cantrips in game two. So it could be said that was a mistake. Um, uh, I mean, I personally, I would play the this is beat cantrips first, but uh, I understand that they were probably trying to keep me from being able to play thought sees in the rest of my hand. Which, had they played the instant speed cantrips, I've been able to play thought sees and more, um, more like my ancient stirrings and my other one mana thing. I think it was another lantern or something, but either way. So, all right.